everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel so happy to have you here in today's video we are going to be doing a $500 Kmart haul now the reason why Lewis and I spent so much money at Kmart is because we are actually styling our house so then we can sell it a couple of weeks ago we bought our second home and unfortunately we cannot afford to keep both of them so the very first house that we bought we are putting up for sale and we need a little bit of help styling it so our real estate agent sent us to Kmart kind of told us um, what kind of areas of the house need improvement or need a little bit more attention when it comes to style she said that the Kmart in Burwood which is in Victoria is the biggest one either in Australia or Victoria and she said that we will be able to find everything that we need there which is actually really true it was huge they even had a garden center so we did buy some plants and I will show you those as well in this haul but let's just jump straight into it so for the first thing I'm gonna show you is just a small item it's this multi-purpose liner so these are going to go in the kitchen cupboard or the kitchen pantry just to make the base of the pantry look a little bit neater a little bit cleaner and a bit more fresh so that's the first thing that I got we then picked up these wire um, racks these are going to be for things like cans and sauces just to make the pantry look a little bit longer and taller and to also show that there is a lot of storage space in the pantry which is true but just again to make it a bit more eye appealing to the people when they come through our house next thing we got now these were for the couch we do have some cushions on the couch but they are like they've been used they're old they're a little bit ugly so she said some fresh looking um, cushions will really up the space and make it look way better so we went with this cushion here which has it's kind of like a cream beigey kind of color and it's got a really cool pattern and to match that we also got two cushions in like this orange brown kind of color so they'll sit on the couch sort of like this so with the brownie whatever color it is rust color we'll sit at the back and then with this cushion at the front front both of these were I think $14 each and honestly they're not the best quality but they look pretty good like they look like that they've been well styled and that's the kind of thing that we're after and going for the next thing that we picked up again was for the couch and it is a throw so the throws that we have on there at the moment they're really good for like snuggling and cuddling but they just don't look good in photos so we decided to complement the couch with the rug and it's in this color here so this is the throw in lila i don't know what in the color jade so it's like a bluey greeny sort of color and it also complements the brown orange rust whatever kind of color it is it kind of complements that pretty well like they don't perfectly go together but they went together a lot better than a lot of the other colors so that's for the couch to hopefully make it look a little bit more inviting and that people will actually want to sit there and that the space has a purpose now the next thing that we got is this here and it is the upholstered timber chair so this is so this is it right here so this is we're going to make into a reading nook so at the front of our house we've kind of got a little bit of area that's dead space and we've always had a chair there but the real estate agent said to make it into an actual purposeful area so making it a bit of a reading nook so we're going to have this with a footrest a rug and then a, a side table as well just so then people know that it is actually there for a reason and that's what we use it for we then also got two bedside tables which i will insert some photos somewhere just because they're under the under this um, and they are going to be our new bedside tables for our main bedroom ah the ones that we have at the moment they're not too bad but they're just not the prettiest so we got two of those and to go along with those uh, bedside tables we also got two new lamps the one the lamps that we have at the moment they don't match and the real estate agent said that it's just 
much better to have things that match in the room so then it looks more cohesive and then it's meant to look like that. So these are the lamps here. They are the Marmo table lamp. So they've got a little bit of marble down the bottom here. And then the light bulb that we're going to use is an Edison light bulb. So it's those big round, round ones. And they're really quite in and modern at the moment. So we're going to put both of these on the brown wooden bedside tables, which will look really nice because black and wicker go really, really well together. Now, the next thing that I picked up were some pots. So they are just here. So these are going at the very front door with um, some big plants in them. I'm not sure, not sure the kind of plants that we bought. It's all outside, but just to make the entrance a little bit more welcoming and have a bit more liveliness to it. It's just at the moment a door, which is so not exciting. So yeah, again, just to give the front area a bit more space. So we've got these two, they're like a black, gray kind of color. $22 each for these pots, which they're plastic. So I feel like that's a little bit too expensive, but they're the ones that the real estate agent said to get because we've got black all through the house. So again, it's cohesive and it's running through the house seamlessly. Next thing that we got were some rugs. So this first rug here, again, I'll insert some photos, is like a gray blue kind of rug in the size extra large. This is going in the main bedroom underneath our bed. Again, just to make the room look longer, look bigger. It's already quite big anyway, but again, just to give the space a bit more warmth and liveliness to it. The next rug is going in the spare bedroom and that is this one here. I'm not sure if you, it's like a herringbone kind of uh, rug. And this one, it's got like brown and white, which will go really well with the bedspread that we're going to put on the bed, which is really colorful. So this will hopefully neutralize the room a little bit and not make it super, super overwhelming. These rugs were actually so cheap. This one here was $45. I mean, obviously the quality isn't going to be the best, but we're just using it for styling. Like we're most likely not going to keep a lot of this stuff. Or if we do, we'll just palm it off to friends and family. So this one was 45 and this one here, which is the extra large one, I think this was like $80. Could have been even less. Could have been like 60. Super affordable, like Kmart is really, really good if you're wanting to restyle your home because the stuff that they have is affordable, not the best quality, but like if you're trying to sell a house, like all of this stuff costs us $500, absolutely amazing. I've never seen this in a Kmart before. So let me know down below if you have seen a Kmart with a garden center because we actually bought plants from Kmart, like real ones, not fake plastic ones. We got, oh, it's got a bit of water in it, but we got this one here again, just to add some extra fresh greenery to the, so this is going in the toilet. And this one is going in there with it too. So we just got one of these. This was $2, this pot here. It's the linear pot in small. So again, $2, super affordable. Uh, or this one's going on the coffee table. I can't quite remember, but two bucks for a pot, so good. And it's white too. So we don't wanna have like too much color because a lot of uh, homeowners aren't, you know, like super, super into color like we are but we wanna make it kind of a bit more neutral for the potential buyers of this house to really make them envision and feel like that they belong in this home, which I'm really hoping that they will because we adore this home. The next things that we got were three succulents. Again, these were all from Kmart, $3.75. Such good quality and such good value. So it's just these here. So it's just the assorted succulents. And these are going to go on the bedside tables. So we'll have two in ours and then one in the spare room or the second room. And they're going to go in this pot here. It's kind of two-toned. It's called the glazed pot with ridge and it's got a ridge just down the bottom of it here that you can see. And it's got like a clay, 
a clay color and then toned with a cream with speckles. It's really nice. I like the shape because it's not just a traditional smooth surface pot. It's a little bit quirky, a little bit different. And again, we want to kind of want it to match as much as possible just so then the rooms weren't too busy. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that we picked up from Kmart. Like I said, it came up to $500, which sounds like so much money, but we got a chair, two bedside tables, two lamps, two rugs, plants, cushions, so, so much stuff. And yeah, we'll use a lot of this stuff in the new place as well. Like this chair might go in the spare bedroom. The bedside tables are hopefully going to go in like our main bedroom. So we're not just wasting this money just to style the house to make it look pretty for photos. Like that's really why we're doing it. But we also bought things that we could use in the new home as well. Let me know down below if you have used Kmart as a real estate agent to style houses before and what other products do you recommend for people to have in your house? Like maybe I've missed a few things that I need to buy in order to make our house look a bit more um, appealing to the masses. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really do hope that you did enjoy it. Bought lots and lots of stuff. It was actually so stressful because you had to decide on like color palettes and everything. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe because I will be uploading a lot, a lot more content for house styling. So like before and afters, house tours, before and after house tours. Yeah, keep following if you want to follow us on our house buying journey. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in a video sometime in the very near future. Bye!